Okay, so this is the tutorial to set up a PlayStation 3 controller wirelessly using Bluetooth. Now before we do this, you need to make sure that your Bluetooth is V2 compatible and installed properly and tested and working. Okay, so firstly we need to open up where you've downloaded the file. Make sure you've got WinRAR pre-installed. Once we find it, simply right click and select extract to PS3 tutorial wireless forward slash. Now once it's done that, we open it up and using the control button we can simultaneously select all of the archives, then we extract them. Now we need to go to the control panel and update the drivers to the free BT driver of your Bluetooth dongle. Now it should be at the top of the list, if it's not it might be in the USB section at the bottom. Simply right click and click update driver, select no to automatically update and simply select the driver from a list and then specify where it is by pressing the have disk button and then the browse button. Now this driver will be located where you extracted it. It'll be in the FBT folder, under Source and Driver. If this box come up, just press Continue anyway. Okay, and done. Now we can just double check that it's there, and then continue on. So close all that down, and then we need to install the libusb Win32 setup program. Now when you do this, this will take a while. After you do this, if your USB stops working, update your chipset drivers, but you shouldn't have a problem. Now untick the run test application box. and now we want to plug in the PS3 controller. Now because I've already plugged it in it's not going to install it but when the first time you plug it in it's going to ask you where the drivers are. Um, just follow the prompts there. Now we want to install the PP Joy program so just follow the prompts to install it. Just tell it not to automa look on automatic updates and tell it to find the driver automatically. Okay, now once this is done, simply go to configure joysticks. Ignore this part, this is only because I've done this before, but when you first start it up for the first time, that won't happen. So simply click the add button and change the controller type no sorry the parallel port to virtual joysticks make sure that's set to controller 1 click add wait for it to install remember not to automatically update it Okay, now once you have done that, simply go to the BT6 folder after you've closed all this. From there it'll initialize the PS3 controller. Now press the address button. It'll configure itself. Now unplug the PS3 controller and press the PlayStation button. And then it should automatically connect itself to your computer and done now go back go to the control panel go to the configure um, joysticks button or parallel port joystick configuration thing and then map it through there and you should now have a properly working wireless PS3 controller